do it. So let's start it off, man. How did you get into real estate? It's kind of a long story. I'm you know, glad like we're sitting stories. down. So um, <laughs> I was working in a bank. Okay. I was in Rancho Santa Fe, California. I was the new accounts manager, the vault manager, if that was even I was I, I managed the vault, and I was a teller. I mean, I basically did three things. I all well. When I first started banking, I worked at Wells Fargo when they took over First Interstate. That was the only big bank I worked at. Right. After that, it was a, a couple small banks. And I'm talking small banks where, like, people walk in, you know their name, and maybe you had one client an hour. Um, it's not used to, like, the Wells Fargo and the Chase where you walk in and they ask for ID. I never asked for ID. So even personally, up until now, I do bank and chase. But for a while, I only liked banking at small banks. I liked walking in and knowing my name. So I worked in this bank in Rancho Santa Fe National. Loved it. It was a nice bank. Met a lot of nice uh, people. You uh, got some really good real estate teams out there, too. And uh, they had a real estate division upstairs. We were in a two-story building. And I wanted in. And I don't know. I was maybe 20, 21 years old. And they just said, nope, no experience. I didn't have a license or nothing. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I just wanted in upstairs. I saw what they were doing, and I wanted in. And uh, I just kept being told no, 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 no. And they were doing real estate, maybe loans too. I wasn't sure. I just knew they were upstairs and I wanted up there. <laughs> uh, I was in a band at this time and I, I worked in a band with a buddy of mine. It was three brothers actually and a friend of ours and myself. And one of the brothers was working at a company and the CEO just gotten, it was Pen Fund USA in Carlsbad. And the CEO got caught spending money on things he wasn't supposed to be spending on. So the company shuttered. And a lot of these folks went to a company in Mira Mesa called Genesis Financial. We were a second mortgage lender. So here I am trying to get into the real estate, and they're telling me no. So Don Verdugo, my buddy, calls me up and says, hey, man, we're hiring down here. And I left the banking world and went down to Genesis Financial, only to sell second mortgages. We were a direct lender. I was stuck on penny leads. Those were the leads that people come in and check their credit report. You can buy those. Yeah. And... Uh, that's what I was given. And if I wanted lending tree leads, which all the guys and girls driving the nice cars were getting the lending tree <laughs> leads. And if you remember, lending tree went out to four lenders. And we were a direct lender. Larry was funding with his own money. So if we were a quarter point higher, we could change the rate. We could change. So we were always winning, long story short. And so if you could get into the lending tree leads, I knew it was easier. And people were making a lot of money doing so. So I didn't know what I was doing, so I just got on the phone and started dialing like crazy. Um, ended up getting my conversions high enough on the penny leads to get over to Lending Tree. And back in this day when I started, I didn't have a real estate license. What year was that? Uh, 99, 2000. Mm -hmm. you had a corp uh, lenders had a corporation license, and you could work under that license. And then about 2003, I think maybe things started to change. I don't know. I was naive. I was just s selling loans, right? Um, it was kind of more like um, like a Geico kind of, it seemed right. like, environment. You know, your underwriters were there. Your processors were there. We walked around the corner. They were right there. Every Larry, the owner, was right there. I mean, it was we owned a building and or rented it, and uh, everybody was there. So it was just it was a lot different environment than real estate is today. Yeah. A lot different. And um, got over to those lending tree leads. Then in 2004, became licensed. Worked until about 2008, and the market crashed in 2008. I'm sure we all remember that. Mm -hmm. Go back two years, get a little personal here. In 2006, I had, a, a for my first marriage, a brother-in-law passed away in a car accident. And so I decided not to work in 2006. I was grieving or whatever. I wanted to make an excuse for what I was really doing. And uh, by the time I came back into real estate 2007, the market was on fire. I was spending more money than I was making, and my pipeline was gone, and everything I'd worked for was pretty much gone. And I had a buddy working at a for-profit educator called Ashford University. And so in 2008, in March, I left the real estate world and went over to for-profit education. I uh, was there till 2013. Then... Uh, didn't know what I was going to do because they had let me go because the Department of Education in 2011, in July, made our matrix. See, commission in, uh, in education was always illegal. Ti you're messing with Title IV funding. Wow. The opportunity to fraud Title IV and pay. Listen, if you're making commission on enrolling students, we can all agree it's going to be a little bit more aggressive yeah. enrolling, especially if you know you can make a commission. And so the Department of Ed made commission illegal. But... University of Phoenix, the pioneer in online schools, I'll call them, 
found a loophole. And they said, well, we're not just going to score you or hold you accountable to how many students you enroll, but how well they do, how well they persist in class from day one to day two, week one to week two, class one to class two. And in July 2011, the Department of Ed said, that matrix you guys all created is illegal. So everybody's salary froze, and the universities just started picking off people. I mean, they could no longer – you had a, a flexible pay schedule. If I did really, really well, I could make 150000 a year. If the next six months my performance dropped, they could cut me down to twenty-five, And so my income was completely dependent upon what I was doing performance-wise in my role. And when July 11 came, the Department of Ed said it's illegal. Everybody's salary froze. So you were at 40. You could no longer climb up to 150 in oh six months. And man. if I was at 150, you can't take my pay away. So I could stop enrolling students. And there's nothing you can do about it because you could no longer hold me accountable to numbers as an advisor. It was only um, um, basically directors and up that were, were numbers because we were all on a – what's the, the word I'm looking for? Advisors were hourly. Salary? And we were salaried, thank you. And so we fell under different roles. And so – to January, it was it December 13th, 2013, they gave me a phone call and said, don't come back. Aww. Didn't even do it face-to-face, -face, waited for me to go home. So then I got recruited to financial planning, Northwestern Mutual. And if you can see my tattoos, I had more. I had my hands and fingers done. I've been through several laser treatments. And so I g start working in, in financial planning for maybe six months. And nothing against those guys and girls there. They're mostly guys. They're all very conservative. And here I am in a suit with tattoos on my hands and fingers. And the one thing you can see when I walk into a room are my hands and my fingers, or at least I felt that, you know. Aww. And so um, shortly after I learned financial planning was hounding family and friends, you can't buy leads. You can't put posts on Facebook because the SEC watches what you put on. and it, 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 Just too many rules. And so I said, I'm going back to real estate. That's what I know. I can buy leads. I can do what I'm good at because think about it. Penny leads a genesis. Yeah. Lending tree leads at Genesis. Mm -hmm. When I went to Ashford, guess what we bought? Leads. We enrolled in all 50 states. It was always over the phone. I'm back in real estate. What am I looking for? Leads. Leads. And financial planning just wasn't going to allow me to do that. So came back, and uh, first year at Keller Williams I was at in Escondido, I closed 22 transactions. I did $4.8 Damn. Good job. 